Joe Moore Wholesale can be a really good source if you don't have time to go sourcing or if you don't live in an area that's good for sourcing. So in this video, we're gonna be doing a Joe Moore unboxing. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Heather. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and my closet name is Hot Posh Fashions and this is a Joe Moore unboxing. I've got several coming and I haven't opened this one yet, so let's see what's in it. Got some yellow paper. Okay, so this looks like, here's our thank you card. So this looks like it's our, doo -doo -doo. this looks like it's probably the cocktail box. So cocktail dresses and outfits, women's secondhand wholesale, 10 pieces. So Jomar was having a huge, I don't know why, 50% off sale on their um, online. And that's when I bought this. So it was regularly $55. So I got it for $27.51. Woo -hoo. Um, I had four boxes. What I plan to do, or five boxes, what I plan to do is calculate the $70 in shipping and divide it equally between the number of pieces. So some boxes have 10, 20, 25, and I'll divide it by the number of pieces. And at the end, I'll give you, I'll calculate that and I'll give you a average cost of goods per piece for this particular box. So let's get into it. Oh, this has tags on it. Oh, hold on, it's stuck to something. We don't want to, the... okay, hold on, because the tool is stuck to some of the beads on another dress. So we're going to be careful. Okay. This is brand name Alice. Okay. And let's see. This has a tag of $170 on it. $180 there. So I don't know what this XO is. Maybe that's a store that carries dresses. I don't know. So the color of this is red nude and it looks like it's size double zero. Alice Paris. Okay, so it's got the zipper down in the back, so I'm gonna pull it up just so that. Okay, so it looks like it's like a baby doll, sleeveless dress with this lace, red lace over this beige bodice with these beading. I'm kind of like looking it over as I'm talking to you to see if I see any major flaws. There's a little red lace right there, but I don't think that's a big deal. It's not bad. Okay, so that's the front. It's a mini skirt like uh, a length mini skirt in this red um, tulle. And there's the back. So it's got that lace up back. And it looks like the underneath is more fitted. Yeah, so anyways, yeah, that's a cute dress. And considering I got this box for next to nothing, I think that's a good when we're going into the prom season because it's February. Okay, here's another tags. This tag doesn't look so hot. I think that this would be best removed. <laughs> but this it looks like a retail price of $340, um, size six. This is black. You know, maybe I can get some stock photos off of some of this stuff. But this tag is definitely molded. It looks like it's gotten wet. $340 retail price. So hope it, the dress doesn't, it doesn't smell bad at all like it's moldy, but that tag is definitely gotten wet. Hold on, I've got a lace issue that I'm caught up. Shoot, I'm catching all over the place. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay. We're just catching all over this tool. <laughs> there we go, okay. So this looks like a mini, um, oh, we have a seam open. Oh, cruddy duddy. Let's see, you have a seam open here. It's like a zipper. It's coming through somewhere. The side zipper. I'm trying to like kind of work it back in there. Okay. So the thread is still here. So hopefully I can get this fixed. I think I can get this fixed because it's just like a little open seam right there where the end of the zipper had kind of come through. So this zipper goes all the way down. Is that the side? That's the side of the dress. This dress wants to catch on itself right and left. I see a bead missing right there. Mm. Looking it over, this, I mean, it's pretty. It just has, what did I say this was? A size six? That zipper, I mean, heck, I might could, it's not bad, it's just the, there's some ish, there's some like, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's kind of like fluffy and I'm trying to decide if it's supposed to be like that. And I think it is. Okay, so the main flaw that I see is that zipper. I don't see any other issues. It's 
Marie Lee. Let's see, it's got a side zip. Mm -hmm, dry clean only. Size five, six. And I'm gonna try to show you the tags here. Here we go. There's the tag. This dress, I'm gonna have to just go right and hang it because otherwise it's just catching on everything. And it's only gonna destroy itself and destroy everything else. So, um, cause it wants to catch on everything. I mean, so overall it's not bad. I mean, it, I, the tags can go, they're like really a hot mess. Um, I think that they're, it's worth more without the tags gone just because the tag looks so awful. So I'm gonna lay it over here so that it doesn't catch on anything. <laughs> All right, now what? Let's see. This looks like a gray silver, like a halter style mini dress. Does it have a pocket? It's got a pocket. <laughs> it's got two pockets. <laughs> so there's the back. <laughs> Okay, there's the skirt. I don't see any issues with it. Let's go make sure the zipper works. The zipper in the back. Okay, let's look at the tag and see what we got. We've got another Alice pair of size two. Looks good. Okay, not bad at that. Let's go with this. This feels chiffony. This is Millie New York size six. It's got extra sequins. So it's a V neck, like a yellow but a really light yellow silk chiffon layered skirt with a sequin waistline there's the front there's the back so let me look at these sequins a second because i see a lot of little strings but i think it's okay i think it's made that way it's got a side zipper let's make sure the zipper works it's a little slow to move there we go it works it looks okay. So I might have just got it stuck. There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when you're working with like silk chiffon like this, it wants to just, you gotta be careful because these all these little layers want to just catch on the zipper. My, younger, my older daughter did pageants when she was little and that's one of those things. There's a little um, snag right here, but it's not bad at all. It's right, right there. It's kind of on the side of the dress where the zipper is and it's gonna just be hidden. It's not gonna even show. So this is good. Okay, let's see, I feel tulle. This has got velvet on it and boning. This is kind of 80s-ish. <laughs> so it's got like a sweetheart neckline with the bodice, with the boobas, with that satin. I can't figure out, is this polka dotted? It's like a floral. It's a floral, that's all velvet. The whole around the waist there is all velvet and it's boned and then we've got this skirt with all this with this silk or satin um floral and this is like a copper color with a black it's kind of like copper black and then it's got the tulle underskirt zipper in the back zipper's good and this is from a brand called silks by saint Jillian, this is a size six, silk, rayon, and nylon. So that material is silk. There's the tag. Okay, this is like retro-y. I don't know that it's actually vintage, even though that tag, I don't know. I don't think it's vintage. I think it's kind of like retro. It is very good and much an 80s vibe. It actually looks like it'd be good for kind of like a winter formal or something because of that um, velvet on it. This is my third video in a row tonight, and it's 9.30 p.m., and I've worked all day, <laughs> so I feel like my energy level is dropping, so I'm so sorry. Let's get a little bit of energy. Woo -woo. Um, this is City Triangles, City Triangle, what something, size large. This feels like a bodycon dress. Not a very good material. This feels kind of 
cheap. So it's got the spaghetti straps. It's like a bodycon mini dress. The sparkles on it. I mean, the material just feels cheap. I don't know this brand. I'm looking for, see if there's a material tag. There's one right there. Polyester, I was gonna say it's probably polyester. It's polyester, it's nothing to write home about. It just feels like just a little cheap dress that probably costs less than $50 to begin with. If that, okay, we have to go over there. Okay. All right, this is a little sheath dress. So it's got those little beads, crystals at the top, the mesh, and then this navy blue. Yeah, I'm gonna call it navy blue. Sheath dress, mini sheath dress. There's this high back, it's all mesh though. And there's a zipper down the back and it works. And let's see, it is made out of Nylon spandex polyester and it is speechless size five. I was thinking this kind of felt like something you'd find in just like a store or something. So it's a junior brand speechless size five. So I don't know what the going rate is for speechless. I mean, this, this doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. There's no store tags, but it looks like it's in good shape. It's a junior size, but you know what? Juniors go to proms and formals and homecomings. This looks like a black. Yeah, this is like a black. This is very, let's see. This is laundry by Shelly Seagal, size four. And this is, it feels like a bridesmaid dress is what it reminds me of. It's like a midi sh uh, shift dress. It's got some boning in it. It's got a zipper down the back. The sash is attached, it looks like. Yeah, the zipper works. There's boning. I'm looking for fabric. Sh Laundry by Shelly Sakal is, is an okay brand. It's pretty good. It retails high. Polyester elastane. Um, but I don't know how much this is going to go for. I have a laundry dress, um, in white. That's a gown. That's, um, like a wedding gown that I've had for a long time that just has sat and sat for, I've had it for probably about a year. So I don't know. This is like a little cocktail dress, which is, is a cocktail dress, um, box. So makes sense. Okay. Let's see. Jessica Howard, size eight, this seem, okay, so this is like a, it's stretchy. So there's no, I don't see a zipper. Let's see, is there one on the side? There's not one in the back, it's long sleeve. It's black with this metallic thread going through it. Like a shift dress. And there's the back. I don't see any problems with it, but, um, it feels like polyester from kind of cheap fabric, not anything. Nice. Nylon Lorex spandex polyester, hand washed, but that's because of this metallic thread. So, I don't even write home about, but you know, it's all cocktail Let's see. This is the last item in this box. So this is B Darlin. I've never heard of that. Size three, four. This is also polyester nylon. Let's see. It's a little mini dress trying to figure out okay it looks like it's going to tie in the satin bow in the back okay there's the front i'm holding up these these are the hanger straps so ignore those <laughs> there's the front and it's got a tulle skirt and then there's a zipper in the back let's see if i can turn this around do, 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 do. but it's got the satin Right there, it looks like it's gonna tie in a bow. Right there. And then the back zipper, let's make sure it works. <clears throat> okay, it does. Anytime you have anything with zippers, you should definitely make sure they work. Zippers are kind of a pain in the butt to deal with and they don't work. So this is a cute little dress. Um, probably not worth a whole, whole lot, but it's cute. Okay. So I need to get these dresses listed because they're all perfect for, you know, proms coming up and stuff like that because it is, it is February. So we will see. Let's put that shook on. Let's cover that with that so that it doesn't get stuck in any of these 
little pieces of things. Let's see. Okay, I'm not that black. That's okay. That's gonna be hung up. So, oh, I didn't count. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. There are ten pieces. Okay, so what do we think about that box? First of all, the box was like cheap as dirt. Um, so I, I'm gonna put the average cost of goods with shipping and everything up here, but I'm pretty sure that we're probably looking at what maybe is what, what's it up here? Three, 350-ish per item. Um, so and I think there's a, at least a couple, I think, I mean, I think everything's sellable. The um, only thing with, any type of significant flaw was that seam that was open at the zipper, but the thread was still there and I think that it can be fixed. I don't think it's a big, big deal. It's just gonna take a couple minutes to fix it. Um, so yeah, I think this is a profitable box. Um, I think it's good. Um, we shall see. I might list, that some of this stuff might do good like locally even on, um, you know, Facebook Marketplace or something like that too. Um, but anyways, tell me what you thought about this box. Um, put it down in the comments what you thought. Do you sell formal wear? Do you sell cocktail dresses and formal wear? Um, let me know. Let me know if any of these brands that I wasn't sure about, let me know if you're familiar with them. Actually, a lot of them I'm not super familiar with. So, um, so just, you know, give me a comment. And if you're still here, you've uh, liked the video because you're still sitting here watching it. So if you like it, even though I'm tired and it's 930 and it's my third video in a row and I worked all day, <laughs> here we are. So drop me a like because you like it. Um, don't pretend like you don't. <laughs> and if you like reseller content, well, this is my channel and that's what I do. So subscribe so that you get um, more information about videos when I post them. And um, I guess that's a wrap. So we'll see you next time. You have a great day. Bye.